Man, I, I, I used to get picked on in the 70s and 80s, all right? I grew up in a Mexican neighborhood. Back then, nobody called me Darren Carter, the party starter. They called me Rooster. <laughs> right? They would get excited, too. Hey, Rooster, what's happening? Hey, Hector, you must have left your gate open, fucker. There goes a red-headed rooster with a backpack. <laughs> Right? I was like, why do you guys call me a rooster? Does it make sense? I look back at pictures of myself. I had long, bouncy, bright red hair. I had a heavy backpack. I walk, I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> One time I got in a fight with another guy with red hair. All this money was flying. Psh, psh, whoa, what's that money for? Cock fight, fucker. It's a cock fight! <laughs> Use your spurs, puto. I worked at Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's embarrassing, right? <laughs> yeah, hey, Rooster, take a two-piece, a piece of your sister and your cousin. <laughs> I guess my favorite, uh, quote, gangster would have to be Snoop Dogg. I love this rapper, man. He's so, right? He's, like, laid back, right? Bow wow, yeah, yeah, what's cracking? It's the big Snoop Dogg. It's a dig old double g yeah, 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 baby boo. None to it but to do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually had a drunk lady tell me at this show, <clears throat> wow, when you talk like Snoop Dogg, you look like him. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> OMG. <clears throat> I'm like, I look like him. I go, lady, I'm white. I look like Snoop Dogg's x-ray. <clears throat> This lady was a freak. She's like, you should go home, make love to your wife, and talk like Snoop Dogg. It would be hot. <laughs> I'm like, it's a dumb idea. I'm not gonna go home and make love to my wife talking like Snoop Dogg. So later that night, <laughs> my wife is in the bedroom. I'm in the living room, buck naked, except for some black socks. <laughs> Pulled up thigh high. I get my crip walk on, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kick open the door, Psh, what a do, boo? <laughs> oh, that's real, baby, put the baby down, biatch. <laughs> what did I do, bro? <laughs> Why are you hating? I got into it, man. I was like, sexual seduction. Oh, yeah. Now, listen, guys, I am not bragging. I am not bragging. But that night, I must have done the impersonation so good because nine months later, bam, you guessed it. Our kid came out black. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I do! <sighs> Thank you. I like how 90% of you are laughing and 10% are like, oh my goodness, should we tell him? <laughs> I don't think it was the, the voice guy. <laughs> I got one of those red light camera tickets not too long ago. I don't know if you've ever had this happen. It's the worst. I have my hands on the steering wheel at 10 and two. I'm actually leaning closer to the windshield to see if the light is red. This is the photo. <laughs> Two weeks later, it shows up in the mail. My wife was like, you're such a dumbass. <laughs> I forgot, I'm like, what are you talking about? It's, a, it's on a refrigerator now. <laughs> I got an Uncle Dale, he's a farmer in Fresno, California. He's got country logic. He's like, Darren, you gotta ignore that son of a bitch. Act like it never happened. They got a picture of you running a red light and they got a photo of you receiving that son of a bitch at the mailbox. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> and then I got a jaywalking ticket. I don't know if you ever got one of those. Um, yeah, mine was $25. I talked to one guy, he said he got one for 280. I was like, wow, how fast were you walking? 
It's weird when you get a jaywalking ticket because you're not even thinking about the cops, right? It, it, you have this happen though, right? Where you're driving and the, uh, the driver tells a passenger, dude, there's a cop behind us. Don't look back. <laughs> Do not turn around. You weren't even thinking about turning around. Now it's like the most important thing in the world, right? Like where? Don't look back, like the cop's gonna go boop boop. I wasn't gonna stop you, but that passenger looked at me. <laughs> I'm gonna write you up for unnecessary eye contact. <laughs> you ever have this happen? You're driving, you're in the fast lane, everything's good, all of a sudden, woo, uh-oh, what do you do? You're in denial. I better change lanes, let him go around me. <laughs> Get the bad guy, right? You change his lanes, he changes lanes. You change lanes, he changes lanes. You change, finally you're complete denial. You're on the shoulder of the road. I'm the bad guy. So back to this jaywalking story. The light is red, I get tired of waiting. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I cross the street, I get down about two blocks. The cop pulls up on a motorcycle, already mad. You here, now! <laughs> And I don't see anybody, so I'm scared. I'm like, oh, something bad's gonna happen. Better hide. <laughs> you and the freckles. <laughs> so I go up there, and he goes, the light was red. You crossed the street. Are you colorblind? What would you say? <laughs> yes, that's what I said. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm colorblind. When I see red, it looks green, and green, it looks red, and I think you're picking on me because I have green hair, and I'm standing on red grass. <laughs> I tell my Uncle Dale, farmer in Fresno, country logic, Darren, you gotta ignore that son of a bitch, act like it never happened. It's a jaywalking ticket. What are they gonna do, suspend your shoes? <laughs> well, there you go. I, uh, I'm gonna show you guys something cool before we leave. I'm gonna show you how to protect yourself against violence without hurting yourself or the other person, all right? Thank you. That's how I drink water, bro. Appreciate it. Here's what you do. The first thing you do is make your opponent think you're crazy. When they go, give me your money, you look them square in the eye and you tell them, I love cheese. Gusto queso. <laughs> Second thing you do. Try to scare your opponent. Like in the monster movies, the guy turns into a monster. What do they do? They freak out, they drop the gun, they run. You can do the same thing. Make your opponent think you're turning into a monster. Get into it. Believe it. You will achieve it. Give me your money. You guys okay? He's all right. You okay, guys. You right? Guy that gets laid a lot. You all right, buddy? <laughs> Not too scared. <laughs> Look, I I, uh, I gotta warn you. It's it's only scary if you have a microphone and speakers. <laughs> right? If you don't have a microphone and speakers <laughs> and you try this outside, you're gonna look like an asshole. <laughs> No microphone, no speakers. Give me your money. Ah! 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 <laughs> it's happening! Oh, oh boy. I love cheese! I'm 
Darren Carter.